Hey you! What up? Mariam here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Today is a very exciting video for me and also should be for you because in this video I am going to be reviewing the new Danessa Myricks palette. Lightwork Volume 4. Transcendence palette is what it's called. This is what people are referring to it as. It is absolutely stunning to look at. The colors, the shifts in this palette are just mesmerizing to look at. Obviously, I'm going to test everything out. I'm going to swatch this palette on the swatch model and I'm going to let these colors, let these textures and all these finishes speak to me when I do create my look. I don't yet know what this look will be, but I will pop it up right now so that you can see what it will be. Also, I must mention, even though this video seems like it's a first impression, I've actually already had this palette for over two weeks. I got it the day that I was leaving to Portugal, so unfortunately I couldn't film my review earlier, but I did take this palette with me to Portugal and I did use it. This was the only palette that I traveled with and that's all I'll say for now. Let's get into this video. Remember to subscribe, notification bell for Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get to this video. Danessa Myricks Transcendence Palette. Does it transcend the expectations? Let's see. All right, so first, the deets. This is a $125 palette. Yes, this is available at Sephora. It's also, I believe, available at Beautylish. I'm not sure if this is already sold out or not, but if it's not, make sure to click on that link below. Just saying. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about this. In this palette, we have four unique textures. We've got the Velvet Chromes, which are Shade Trance, Nirvana, Sixth Sense, Out of Body, Zen, Trippy, Escapism, and Awakening. So basically these two, this one, and these three. These are ultra chromatic color shifting velvety smooth powders. We also have aqua chromes. Now these are water activated smudge proof vivid duochrome pigments. We've got two of those, Intuition and Aura. Also, we have Glass Metallics, two shades there. These are ultra reflective dazzlers with a glass like shine. That would be Divinity and Angels. And last but not least, we have Pressed Chrome Flakes. This is Danessa Myrick's best-selling infinite chrome flakes in a pressed cream, ultra-metallic, multi-tonal formula. So there's two of those, Heaven and Paradise. Heaven right here, Paradise right here. As you can see, all of these have like a unique finish to them. Obviously, some are just shaped that way, but these in particular have just like a very textured appearance, almost like it was baked that way, which honestly makes it very cool. So the fact that there are all these different textures, there's all these different formulation is what makes this eyeshadow palette unique and different and very specific to Danessa Myricks. Now, obviously there's no mattes, there's no traditional types of eyeshadows in here. So if you want to create a very wearable look, you'll need to pair this with something a little bit more wearable like mattes or like satin shades, like a matte crayon, if you will. Also, these are powders, or I guess textures that you could use all over the face. So it's a multi-use palette, not just for the lids. You could also use it as highlighters, you could use it all over the face. Again, 125 US, 170 Canadian. I know, I know, but wait. So now, because I've already traveled with this palette, I am just a little bit familiar with it. I did actually just attend a wedding in Portugal, so for this wedding, I actually wore this shade Divinity all over my lid as like my pop color. I was wearing a yellow dress. And so with this yellow dress, I wanted to have a very yellow gold bright sort of eye look. And I'll pop up the picture here, me and the swatch model, and then just like a close up of my own makeup, just so you could see what it looked like. I actually wore it in a very wearable way. This look is in fact the same exact look as my fall Make It For Real Life look that I just filmed, except I changed the bright yellow shade for the shade Divinity and it turned out really, really nice. All right, so now let's actually go ahead and swatch the rest of these. I'm gonna call in the swatch module. We've got some thermal water over here to activate some of the watercolor shades. Yeah, let's get this party started. Let's get it rolling. All right. Swatch model Swatch time. Swatch model time. Ta -da. All right, so the first shade we are going to swatch is... Trans. Trans. Oh my God, it feels so creamy. Oh, baby. Wow, like a custard? 
Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Damn, I don't even know if that translates on. It actually does translate on the oh, monitor. Let's shift it. My Damn. God. That's pretty wild. And then, like, when you actually look at what's left on my finger, it's purple. So you can see that this is a shifty shade between, like, indigo blue to purple, but metallic. Oh. It's beautiful. God. Transy. Transy AF. Next, Next up is Nirvana. Oh my god, they feel so emollient, my god! Okay, let's go. Wow, look at that. That's crazy nice. Yeah, and you know, you could probably even like spread it. Let alone blend Look at it. that, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, you can keep on playing with this. You don't even need to go in that deep. Like you don't. Wow. wow. So you're getting like double the product. Wow, you're not even going in deep on the pan either, right? Oh my god, no, look at this. That's crazy. It's beautiful, it looks like butterfly wings. I, this is, the shade is so complex. I don't even yeah. know how to describe it. It's like olive and also like red gold. It's something gold. you would see in nature, it's yeah, so beautiful. Yeah, like a butterfly. That's crazy. That's really dope. Mm. Next shade, Divinity. So this one is different. This Divinity is actually an ultra reflective glass-like shine, Dazzler. Eyeshadow. That's a lot of adjectives. Yeah, so let's see how different this is. Wow. So again, you can spread it. This is the shade that I wore at the wedding, actually, with my yellow dress. I very wore it pretty. all over the lid. So this is a very reflective, but very wearable, surprisingly very wearable gold. Pretty. Indeed. And then you see, like, on my finger, it's just sparkles remain, so it's almost transparent. You could probably just take a dab of that and add that all over your lid for like a wash of sparkle, like a wet look, you know? <laughs> all the possibilities. All right, next, next one. Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense. Remember that movie? I do. I didn't even know you knew that movie. What was the famous line? I can see dead people all the time. This is crazy. Oh my God. Cause look, Sixth Sense looks blue in the pan, but then it swatches. It's a multicolor. It has like a green, it has like a... But it definitely does not give me any blue. It gives blue. It on, does? On my end, yeah. It, I'm looking at the monitor and in the monitor it looks totally uh, like... It looks nothing like that in real life. Really? Way. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, you gotta see it. It's blue. Yeah. Shit. Sometimes what happens is colors can't be translated by uh, cameras. There's like, it's, in other words, it's a color that can't be translated. Wow, interesting. Yeah, to RGB, because all the TVs and, uh, are uh, red, green, blue to make their colors. So that means this color is really complicated. Sixth sense. They, it good. sees dead that. people. Wow. <laughs> Next one. Is out of body. Out of body. Body, 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 out of body. Wow. Damn. Crazy. I have to tell you, the way that feels on my skin is, is ridiculous. Like therapeutic? It felt like butter. Honestly, like just gliding this is such like a, an emotional ASMR moment, you know? It's just like it feels so good. It hits the right senses. It's out of body. It's out of body. So beautiful, holy shit. All right, so I'm gonna do these shades next just because they are part of that same velvet chromes. Okay. So the next shade is? Zen. Zen. Insane. That's crazy. Again, not really translating. Really? Yeah, it's definitely not Let me green. Look at it. It's green. Oh my god, it's totally different. Yeah, it's green. But actually, when you tilt. What we'll do is we're going to do some yeah. other footage to, to really get a better understanding of the colors here. The next color is Angeles. Angels. And this is the same glass metallic as the Divinity shade, this gold one here. So, same formula, but just a different color. Let's spread that. Pretty. Wow, it spreads so easily too, and it's just given so much sparkle, so much light and life. Next color is trippy. Trippy. Trippy, 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 trippy. What? Wow. What? What? This is insanity. Yeah, it's really wild. That is crazy, because look, trippy looks green here. It looks purple in the monitor. I have no words, only emotions. Next is... Escapism. Escapism. This one looks emerald in the pot, but then on my finger, it's like, ah. Uh, let me just watch it. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's I have crazy. no words. Awakening. Now she killed it with these, uh, the qualities. She, just, she does. She is a killer. The quality is, uh, is incredible. Oh, awakening. Wow, wow, look at that. Oh my God. It's like a turquoise purple. I'm so obsessed. That's like the best combo ever. Damn. I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I'm. I feel like I like my eyes are high. This is just like too much for 
me to take. So now we're moving on to the aqua chromes. Yes, so the aqua chromes we have intuition and we have aura. So these are water activated. So <laughs> no. No. Wow. Okay, I guess I need a little bit more. Maybe it is it supposed to be like a watercolor? I don't know. I have no idea. I think it was basically wow, more okay. more water than product. But this feels very different. This feels very hard in the pan. So I think, you know, you need less water, very little water, and more product in order to really make this work. But still, still. so cool. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And this is supposed to be smudge proof once it dries. Really? Yeah. Well, let me do less water now. There you go. Pretty. You get the idea. This is yeah, layerable, I mean, no. and obviously, yeah, like, like the that. more water you put in, the less pigment you pick up. There, you just have to play around with like the mixture of water to product. And the last two that we are swatching are the pressed chrome flakes. So those are these two in the center. Heaven and paradise. So first, we are going for heaven. Heaven. Well, this feels really, really, really unique. It looks unique in like, the pan. Like what the heck? This picks up basically a bunch of flakes. Whoa, Whoa, that's what pretty that? cool. So these are chrome flakes in some sort of a sticky base. So you could really control how much you pick up. Maybe this shouldn't even be a swatch. Maybe this should be like, like a round type of circle because you can pick up a little bit or you could pick up a lot and obviously you could layer it. And see, I still have so much left on my finger. Just like depends on what you want to do with it. And the last one is paradise. Paradise. How's that feel? Save. It's like kind of sticky. Feels like foil. That's what it picks up like. And whoa. It's kind of how. Whoa. Uh, so I definitely picked up a lot more of this one than of the other one, and it just feels. How does it feel like to you? I don't it feels know. Feels like a how to sticky clean. like foil, like literal. Yeah, it feels like a foil. But it's so damn cool. You can create some. Yeah, really like you can really crazy, get creative yeah. with this. You can get super artistic. So here we have the swatches. We just tried to remove the swatches from the swatch model's arm and it wasn't so easy though. It was very artistic and very beautiful. I'll show you what it looked like using micellar water. But the way that we were actually able to remove it was by using the one size spray remover and also the wipes. And then after that, we had to go in with oil once again, a Shiseido oil. And then after that, his arm was spanking clean. So just letting you know, micellar water is not gonna get rid of these pigments. So now that we know all the deets, now that we have the swatches in front of us, now that we know what we're working with in terms of quality, let's apply all of this or some of this to the face. Like I said before, although this is very, very colorful and all of these are multi-chromatic, super shifty, metallic, foil shades, these are unique. This isn't something that you will find in your average palette. You can absolutely create a wearable look with these. You don't necessarily have to go super artistic and super avant-garde, although you can, and we have Danessa Myrick's channels for all of that inspo. Please go to her Instagram and please be inspired by all the amazing artistry that she creates. But for me and for my channel and for what I'm doing today, I'm gonna try to keep it wearable. Also, I must mention, it looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow and this is in fact not eyeshadow. I was actually experimenting with self-tanner. You know how I do like the self-tanning contour hack around my mouth. I had a little bit extra left on my Q-tip, so I didn't want to waste it. And so I decided to do this self-tan eyeshadow hack. I did this last night. I totally forgot that I was filming this this morning. I wish I didn't have this, but maybe this will actually help me with the uh, relatability of this look. Today, I'm going out to dinner with the swatch model, also with my brother and sister. And for that, we're actually going to a Portuguese restaurant because I am so inspired by Portugal. I'm obsessed. I was just there. We were there for 10 days. So I am thinking, I want something blue. Is that too much to ask for or is it not? I think it's perfect. So first things first, I'm gonna prime my lids. Not that these need any sort of primer underneath. I'm just gonna be protecting my lids because they are very oily. Also the primer that I'm using is quite grippy. So it's part oil controlling, part sticky, like a sticky base. I'm just gonna go across my lid over this self tan part. So I've got a new eyeliner from Persona Cosmetics in the shade brown and brown is like exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for something that will give me a base. I'm gonna reach for this brown and with one eye at a time, I'm going to basically etch out like a little border and then I'm gonna use a pencil brush. This one's from Sigma and then just blend it out. 
it's just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Either this brush had sparkle shadow on it, or these liners have a little bit of golden sparkle in it. I can't tell, but it doesn't matter because everything I'm working with today is very sparkly. So next thing I'm gonna do, I actually was also sent these um, chrome amplifiers and I totally forgot to mention these. I'm not sure if these are sold, but anyway, these came in the PR package with the palette. So I am thinking I'm gonna use these. So basically this is like a rubber tip. I'm gonna pick up this shade Trance. Whoa. I'm gonna start applying that right underneath the border that I just created, just like that. But actually, I always see Danessa using her fingers, so I'm gonna use my fingers, I think. This just feels a lot more intuitive to me. This really helps you apply the appropriate amount of color because you feel it going on as opposed to using a tool. So basically, I'm just tapping it and stretching this over my lid, and then I'm kind of blending it with that border that I created. I don't wanna to go too much past the border, but this is probably where the tool can come in handy because I can really get into the little crevices and I can perfect the shape if I want to do that. Similarly, I can get into my inner corner. And I mean, wow, this looks stunning. So, so vibrant. Right, I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. I'm picking up a lot less than what I did for the swatches because now I know how pigmented this is and how far it will stretch. So I'm just picking up a little bit at a time so I can really apply it where I want it. All right, and then I'm gonna use this amplifier and stretch it into this corner here. I mean, these kinds of eyeshadows really do make you feel like an artist. Not just a makeup artist, but an artist artist. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I was born into a family of artists, not makeup artists, but artist artists. Both my mom and my dad went to art school. They have done art their whole lives. I did art as a kid, painted, I drew. I mean, I also acted and sang, but visual arts was always a part of my life, my whole life. So this feels very natural for me. This feels like my sort of element. All right, so now that I've basically laid down this first shade, which looks stunning as is, I don't even think you really need to add much more to it. But like I said, I'm trying to keep it wearable for you guys and I'm trying to, you know, just give you different options on how to use this palette if you're not necessarily a makeup artist, maybe perhaps if you're just a makeup enthusiast. Next, I'm gonna pick up this shade here called Out of Body, just a little bit of that. And this one is that butterfly wing type of blue green, I guess. I'm gonna start layering that to the center. This is where the magic happens. You see that? This is where these shadows transform. And Danessa is all about layering all of these textures, all of these different foils and finishes. But doing this with color can not only give you dimension, it can give you so much variety to your looks. So layering this one to the center to bring out more of the blue rather than the purple. Stunning. Then I'm gonna go in with this amplifier, thinking I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this shade here called Awakening. So now these first few shades that I'm using are all velvet chromes. Apply this directly into the inner corner tear duct, just like that. So that's kind of the base that I'm going for today. I'm gonna pick up this tiny little brush, which is basically like a liner brush, and I'm gonna dip it into Divinity, which is a gold shade, but it's a very glassy, very sparkly gold shade. And I'm gonna add that to the very very inner corner tear duct. By the way, I must mention there is no fallout. There is no fallout at all because these are creamy. These are not powdery. So now that I've placed the gold, I'm gonna dissipate the gold in different directions, kind of just patting it with my pinky like that just so it looks a little bit more sporadic rather than so painted on. But obviously I am painting it on first. I'm just surrounding my tear duct here and then I'm patting it in and I'm making it more sporadic, less intentional, more messy. I'm also gonna put a little bit of that sparkle under my brow bone and just blend that out. Same thing here, blend that out. This is so vibrant, but it is so beautiful. Next, I definitely wanna utilize this Heaven shade because I thought it was so unique. I'm thinking I'm gonna pick this one up with one of these amplifiers, starting with just like a little bit at a time. And remember, these are flakes, so these need to be pressed in. This isn't something that you necessarily rub on, but it's a little bit tricky to at here. Perhaps I need to pick up a lot more product, okay. Okay, there we go, there we go. It is coming together. This would probably work better on like a totally bare lid because like I said, these flakes are pretty sticky. But do you see how cool that is? Once you are able to stick them on, they make a difference. You just give this crazy like alien-esque vibe to your look. Oh yeah, I'm gonna remove some of these here because I think I have too much on this eye. 
Like this eye is perfect, it's just got the right amount of sparkle and this one is like, whoa. But once they're on there, they ain't going nowhere. They are stuck there, which is fine by me. So now that I've done all that, I'm gonna keep the rest of my look very, very simple because Again, I'm trying to show you something that you could wear casually. Although this is definitely not casual, I am certain that people will stare at my eyeshadow just because it is that mesmerizing. So I just went ahead and grabbed some black liquid liner. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Precision Felt Black Liner that I think would look amazing right here in a wing. I also grabbed my Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Ink. This one's not as precise, but it is absolutely opaque black it's waterproof and it's dramatic so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna line just the outer half of my lower lash line and i'm gonna wing it out in a very high wing and then I'm just gonna create some dots along the edge of this crease that i created i'm only doing this because i kind of want to disguise that shadow that i added underneath the danessa myricks eyeshadows although at first i thought it was a good idea now in retrospect i wish i didn't do it i wish i would just allow the eyeshadow to blend into my skin naturally but now that it's there i'm gonna make it purposeful so i'm gonna draw these dots i'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and like that, perfect. Might be like the first time where my liner wings match almost identical. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the three dots. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna add my waterproof mascara. Essence Double Trouble is what I'm using. And then I'm thinking I want lashes. Today is the day that I'm gonna go for lashes. So I am going to grab these Kiss Masterpiece Luxe Lash in the style Haute Couture. I'm gonna cut these significantly, probably like in half. I'm gonna cut at least this much off. I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty lash glue. And while that's working on getting tacky, I'm gonna cut the other lash, add glue, set it aside. I'm gonna work with one lash at a time, placing it to the center, making sure it connects to the lash line, and then taking the outer corner and lifting it slightly. Oh yeah. So this also kind of adds a little bit more shadow to the eyeshadow. Makes it look like the outer corner is just a little bit darkened because the lash is so full and it's so thick or dense rather, that it literally adds a shadow, which I think actually makes it look even more wearable. So now I'm working on the other eye, making contact, inner corner, that's the most important part. It's the one that always gives you away. And once that inner corner is on, I'm gonna work on the outer corner, place that higher than the lash line, and I'm gonna push these lashes up. I'm gonna crimp it with my natural lashes, pressing this side down, lifting this side up. All right, so now for the rest of the look, I am thinking I need to keep it very, very chill. I need to tone down this lip. It's looking just a little too pink for my liking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one of my favorite lip liners, Persona Cosmetics Dusk, just to like neutralize the pinkiness. And then for the lips, I'm gonna go for Laura Lee Los Angeles Liquid Lipstick in the shade Old Rose. This is just a nude. I'm gonna dab that over my lips. All right, so in my opinion, the look that I created is pretty wearable. I would feel totally comfortable stepping outside today for any occasion, whether I'm going out or whether I'm just chilling with family. You can definitely dress up this look or dress it down, depending on whatever life situation you have going on. But basically what I'm saying is that this palette, this Transcendence palette, Lightwork Volume 4 by Danessa Myricks, is absolutely wearable for the average person. This is not something that is necessary geared towards the makeup artist. Although this very much screams that way, obviously all of these are extremely well pigmented, super, super, super in your face types of duo chromes. And even I would say trio chromes. These are super high quality eyeshadows that any makeup artist could put to use. So if you are a makeup artist, this is a palette you ought to get your hands on, especially if you have high-end clientele, if you do any sort of red carpet looks, this is what's gonna make your star or your client stand out, no matter whatever it is that they're doing. I will also say that there are a number of shades in this palette that are super, super wearable, like the shade Divinity, which to me is just like a super, super sparkly, but very neutral gold. It's not too yellow. Yellow. It's not too orange. It's just like the right sandy tone of gold that translates beautifully on camera and in person. All of these shades can be one and done shades, by the way. You could use them as eyeliners. You could use them just to add a pop of interest to your everyday makeup look, or you can 
mix and match, you can create dimension, you can create texture, whatever your heart desires. So basically, yes, this absolutely does speak to the artist and not just to the makeup artist, but just to an artist like myself, who is someone that grew up in the field of visual arts. But even if you are not an artist, if you are a makeup enthusiast, if you love great quality, this is a great quality palette. That's pretty much the bottom line. Also, I have to say, and I don't always say this because not everyone deserves what I'm about to say, but Danessa is probably one of the most, if not the most deserving person in the beauty industry that I have ever met. She is a warm, she is a kind, super smart individual. She's so dedicated to her craft. She's so loving. She is a mom. She is an artist. She is just brilliant and just to see her rise, to see her thrive, to see her doing so well, to see her brand be in Sephora, to see it being talked about the way that it is, it feels like it's happening to me just because Danessa is an incredible person. I love her so much. I've known her for many, many years. So I am just so super proud of Danessa and the team for creating what they have created with Danessa Myrick's Beauty, with all these palettes that are for the artists, that are for the consumers, that are for everyone to make us feel like artists to make us feel happy and that just makes me feel good so on that very positive note I am going to wrap this video I am going to zoom on out I'm gonna invite you to check out more of my videos click on them and I will see you guys in the next one peace out and I'm out